Hello everyone, this is Imran here. Today in this video training, I'm gonna show you how you can simplify the checkout process of your WooCommerce based e-commerce website. You know, because of the complex checkout process, the customers leave the website. It's one of the main reasons of less conversion rates. But you can easily boost the sales of your e-commerce website just optimizing the checkout process customizing the checkout page of WooCommerce based e-commerce website and you can get the job done just using a plugin and in this video training I'll work with this plugin WooCommerce direct checkout using this plugin you can just simplify the checkout process you can skip the cart page so the customers will need less time to purchase a product from your website besides you will be able to edit the checkout fields of your checkout page and this plugin will offer a lot more features that you can check from the links i have provided in the description well once you have successfully purchased the plugin from this link you will be able to access the downloads file from this link downloads just log into your account and you will be able to download it here is the file and i just click on this file under downloads link just click on it and the file will be downloaded easily we should start the process now i'm at the dashboard of my website as you can see and just navigate to plugins and click on add new okay as i'm going to install the plugin from an external source this website so what i'll have to do just click on upload plugin and hit choose file and here is the file WooCommerce direct checkout just click open hit install now and hit activate well friends i have already installed and activated the WooCommerce direct checkout pro but keep in your mind the pro version always depends on the free version so what we'll have to do you will have to also install the free version and it shows a link here installed WooCommerce direct checkout blah blah just click on that link and you will be able to install it easily hit activate that's fine so now i have the free version i have the pro version okay so by this time i think you could uh, just install all the both the plugins and uh, if you hover over here on woocommerce and you see a new link direct checkout just click on it and it will open up the setting panels and just direct checkout. You can see this tab because of the plugins we have installed by now. And it has sub categories, general, archives and products, checkout and license. To get all the functionalities from the pro version, what you will have to do, you will have to activate the license key. Okay, once you have successfully purchased, you will get this link license just click on here and here that goes the license key of direct checkout just i'm going to copy it and here paste the license key and put the email address i have used this email address okay friends you can see i could successfully activate the plugin okay that's great now we are going to work with the ease of the setting options this plugin offers okay so let's start with the general well friends i believe you have the basic working experience with woocommerce so this is the home page um, of my website i'm going to open this product in the single page by default uh, the the default checkout process is complex. The customer has to click on this page and here you can see a view card pop up, then click on it. It goes to the cart page, then it goes to the checkout page. That's a long history, long process. And in this training, we will learn how we can simplify that. Okay, so I'm going to click on here and again, I'm going to click on home and click on this product this time 
okay so uh, get back to the setting options general and here you can see add to cart alert what it is just here you can see a question mark and if you hover over here you will see a tooltip here you can see the tooltip says replace the view card alert with direct checkout just a few minutes back here you could see a view card alert and that will be just removed okay so what i'm going to do set it to yes and if you hit save changes and if you reload here this time you won't see any view card pop up just click on it and here you can see the pop up is check out so if you click on here you will be sent to the check out page directly okay well friends here you can see added to cart link and it will replace the view card with the direct check out and uh, let me show you i'm gonna click on the store okay uh, depending on the themes uh, actually these themes probably don't show up but if you use anything uh, use any other theme you will see a uh, option like uh, add to cart here uh, okay let me change the theme i'm going to change to another theme ocean wp okay that's fine now if i reload the product page and here you can see add to cart button it depends on the theme just click on the card and here you can see view card if you click on here you will be sent to the card page but the magic goes here if you enable this option then uh, okay you know it won't it won't show the view card then what i'm going to do hit save changes and now i'm gonna reload it and see the magic click on here you can see check out no view card okay well friends this setting options are pretty simple you can just uh, make ex experience yourself like the way i showed you just change here and go to the product page and try everything and here you will see a tooltip and this concept is really great i would like to thank the developers who just uh, added this tooltips okay it's a very cool idea okay then add to cart redirect okay if you enable this then if you click on the add to cart and it will be redirect to the checkout page okay just yes and edit card to redirect to cart page or checkout page by the way by the way you can add custom url if you would like to sell directly on any uh, payment gateway provider through any payment gateway provider or you can add any custom checkout page here that will be fantastic okay and replace the card url you can also replace the card url i'm going to just uh, navigate to settings don't uh, mess up i'll be right back and here the permalink is should be post name i'm gonna reload this again okay now if you would like to change the card redirect and redirect to it should disappear okay probably a bug then here you can see check out or check out url check out url here is the url and you can replace you can replace the cart url you can you can easily replace the cart url to from here check out url okay that's fine so hit save changes i'm going to navigate to check out no url just hit save changes again this time i'm going to navigate to archives and here you can see two pretty simple options replace add to cart text 
here you can see boring add to cart add to cart ah okay so you can change it just uh, yes then the text will be parses and the text will be applied to simple product variable products group products okay it's pretty simple you might not want to show parses text uh, to a specific product type say for example virtual product so you just disable it and add quick view button okay quick view pop up so just uh, hit save changes now come over here and reload this page now you can see parses the add to card is gone so as i said earlier the setting options are pretty simple anybody who has installed WooCommerce in his website can pretty simply work through this plugin and here goes products just click on it and every time you complete when you complete the settings just hit save changes don't forget to do that and add ajax add to cart well friends when you click on any product okay just i'm gonna show you add to cart and here you can see the page reloads the page reloads and uh, i'm working on a fast server but in case the web server is very weak low what it was it was loads to the server it uh, misuse or waste the bandwidth of your server so if you use ajax add to card then it won't reload okay so i'm gonna show you practically i have enabled it and add to card uh, add ajax card to card alert yes of course and there is a problem the tooltip doesn't disappear instantly replace add to cart text uh, okay add to cart text can be replaced and you can add parses okay or buy now you can say okay buy now just hit save changes now friends uh, all our checkout page because i have added to the checkout frequently now again i'm gonna reload this page and this time you will see when i click on this button it won't reload the page won't reload and it won't pressurize the server okay just click on it wow pretty simple this page did not reload from the server because of the ajax functionality because of the ajax functionality so i think this plugin the premium version of the plugin is very handy okay and uh, go to check out here it is so uh, these are the pretty simple options you can try yourself and here you can see the documentation link when you get stuck any point you can check the documentation page you will see everything the description or details of every options they have okay pretty simple and now go to check out through this panel or through this setting options you can customize the check out page uh, here is the check out page but i'm going to change the theme again to extra you know both themes are good but it has unique functionalities but i like extra also ocean wp whatever go to the checkout page here it is extra is decent well so go to the checkout page and here you can see add cart to the checkout here you can see on the checkout page friends i have a small card because i enabled it but if i disallow it hit save changes check here if i reload 
it gone so what you could understand you can just bring the card page to the checkout page that's fantastic to in on you can get the card page in the checkout page okay so uh, i'm going to enable it again and here you can see add to cart checkout field and you can decide which field would you would like to uh, display in the cart page very strong functionalities i must say and here you can see you can remove the coupon field just uh, something is wrong with the tooltip it doesn't disappear quickly it doesn't disappear quickly it doesn't disappear quickly okay probably my mistake okay so you can remove the coupon form if you don't want and you can add any custom css class okay you can add css class say for example if you are a master of css you can style the cart page or just using css and remove checkout fields here you can see friends you can remove the fields from the checkout page if you would like to just uh, minimize minimize simplify the cart page just make the cart checkout page sorry the checkout page make the checkout page pretty simple just straight forward so uh, if you don't need uh, the last name what you can do you can remove from here just i'm going to type last name also you should need last name okay then remove checkout shipping address in the checkout area uh, if you ship to the different i think you can remove it so uh, this plugin actually provide uh, dual functionalities you can customize the checkout page you can remove the cart page to make the checkout process pretty simple uh okay last page i'm going to hit save changes just reload it and here you can see last name is gone just for example if you sell easy digital uh if you sell digital downloadable products then you don't need the address okay uh, just you can remove this from here you can just come over here country you can remove country you can remove telephone number don't need the telephone number okay phone phone number you can delete the state blah blah in the same way you can remove any field you want okay remove checkout shipping address i did remove checkout order comments you can just remove it and friends here you can see all the fields are pretty simple just hover over here hover over here and you will be able to easily don't say me lazy i just wanted to make the video pretty simple and short that's why i'm going to do that just uh, enable yes to remove the privacy policy text if you don't want to show in the checkout page and remove checkout terms and condition yes and remove checkout gateway icon yes and remove checkout column yes and remove order details address yes because sometimes because of this unnecessary fields your customer might abandon the cart page being just bored okay just make it simple hit save changes all done okay friends those of who have watched the whole video you can let me know um i'll thank you especially just let me know in the comment box and don't forget to like this video and share this video and hit the subscribe button of my channel thank you for watching i hope to see you again in any video